All right, now we're going to make a normal map for the skull. As you maybe might have tried, um, there's four parts to the skull, so we have to kind of look at a way to combine normal maps together. So I'm going to be showing you that, and that way you can do multiple pieces at different resolutions. See, if you had this whole skull under one resolution, it would have been really hard to sculpt. So several parts broken up, not so bad. But there is some legwork involved as far as putting it all back together. That being said, let's split this area and get started. So this video is prepping out the skull for a bake. We're going to go into UV Image Editor. And for each part, we're going to grab it in Edit Mode. Hit A to highlight all faces and go New Image. Okay, this one is going to be Jaw, capital J. I'm going to copy that. Uh, I'm going to go with 2048 by 2048. And I'm going to use the color white. Very important that you use white. No alpha. And then also, I'm going to name the mesh jaw. Next step, recalculate normals and smooth shade. All right, on to the next part where I do the exact same thing I just did. This time, click on the bottom teeth. Okay, again, A on the keyboard to highlight all, image, new image, we're going to call this bottom teeth, copy that, 2048 by 2048, again, choosing white. Alpha, no. Then name your mesh. Okay, board yet? Okay, next. Again, A on the keyboard. Image, new image, top teeth, copy that, 2048 by 2048, color of white, no alpha. Again, name the mesh, enter on the keyboard. A. Now, I miss um, miss something here. So for each one of these, let's go back to the teeth. Sorry, there's a lot of steps here. Recalculate normals, smooth shading. Recalculate normals, smooth shading. Recalculate, smooth shading, and then image, new image. We're going to call this skull. 2048 by 2048. White, alpha off. Okay. Now, I would save this big hot mess, but first, let's get rid of anything that we can. Plain, we want to get rid of these. We're not using those. Delete. Get rid of the planes. Delete. What is this? I don't see anything highlighted. Delete it. Same. 
Camera. Nope. Not using it. So now I only have my essential parts right here and they're all named. I would save as. And then we need to lower down our parts to usable standards as far as what is the mesh and how dense do we really want it. Okay, I'm going to turn wireframe on for this just so I can get an understanding. So in that case, that one looks good. Again, I need wireframe on in order to see how dense the mesh is. That's too dense. Right about there. So that one's three. This one should be three. Just to make sure. There we go. Next. And notice I lower it just a little bit before I turn on wireframe because it, it, it's really, really slow if you don't. Okay, wireframe. Yeah, a little lower on that one. So it looks like all of them are set to one, which is good. Now they're all the same resolution. Oops. Save. Yeah, put my input as Maya. Okay, so this is going to be my base mesh. All right, that's how dense it's going to be. And now I'll have to produce my normal map for it. I want to turn the wireframe off now. Just use that to see what was going on. You can see. Everything shades well at its lowest. That's a good sign. That means we've recalculated all the normals correctly. Now, me, myself, um, I like to take these apart so they don't play upon each other. I know that they, they shouldn't play upon each other, but just in case, and to do this, look at this, take all the locations of all objects, apply location. This way they're all zeroed out and I can just kind of pull this one out, pull this one out, and pull this one down. And if I want to put those back, all I do is have to put zero in there. Again, I don't want them to play on each other, so that's why I do that. Do they? Oh, you know what? Wonder does some wacky stuff, so best to be safe than sorry. Okay. Well, the next step here is to go to camera. have everything highlighted, all the parts highlighted. They should be all highlighted up above. Go to bake, and I want to bake normals. And I want to bake from multi-res. This next step is going to take a very long time because it's got to bake four separate maps. Okay, so I'm going to hit bake, and then I'm going to stop the video, and then in the next video, we'll composition them all together. See you then.